She is cute. Look at that. So adorable. I just got back from my first beauty con. I got so much stuff. And back with me, dolls. I'm back. Hey goodies, welcome back. My head look a little big. I took my wig off, put it back on, just to record this video for y'all, cause I don't wanna be looking like, I don't wanna be out here with my, with my Cleos. Honestly, I don't wanna be out here with my Cleos on the video, even though I've done it before, I just didn't wanna do it for this video. Anyway, goodies, I just came back from my first beauty con. Ten out of ten out of ten. Okay. So BeautyCon is a beauty convention. I've always heard about it in the past, but I've always lived on the East Coast. Um, then COVID happened, so they haven't done it in I believe four years. So this is the first time that they're having BeautyCon in four years in LA, and I'm so ecstatic that I was able to go. It's my first time. I really didn't have much complaints because I didn't have anything to compare it to. But all of those people who have been before in the past, they were like, oh my God, it's so small. Oh my God. Um, it, it was crowded, I'm not gonna lie. It was a little bit chaotic when I first got there. It was, it was giving fire hazard. It definitely was giving call the fire marshal and you might get a check. <laughs> But um, it was a little chaotic, and then I think as like the day went on, it kind of got a hold of things a little bit more. It wasn't safe when I first got there. It wasn't safe. But anyway, we're not there to talk about the flow of the event. We really just had to look at all my freebies that I got. Oh, there were some uh, speakers there also. Let, let me tell you that. So there were speakers. Um, the lady that owns uh, Camille Rose, she was there. She spoke. Kai Spence was there. There was a couple other people that were there. I honestly don't remember. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Bia performed. Saucy Santana was supposed to pull up. Yeah, but you know what? Let's get into all the stuff that I got because it's per. All my stuff is mixed up. I got bags and I just started throwing things in there. So stuff is mixed up, you know? So we're gonna just go with the flow. Whatever I pull out the bag, that's what we're talking about. That's it. This is from Camille Rose. Um, let's see what's in the bag because it may not be her stuff. First thing, Shea Moisture. This is a Shea Moisture Stronghold Styling Gel. Now, first of all, Shea Moisture had the girls in a chokehold. The line was wrapped around the entire venue for the girls trying to get Shea Moisture products. Got quite a few things from Shea Moisture. I didn't get as many. I, I didn't get as many as I could have. So we're causing chaos in the building, so they started giving out one product at a time. So every time you had to spin the block, get a product, spin the block, get another product, spin the block, get another product. After a while, I was like, I'm done spinning the block. <laughs> you know, stuff from Shea Moisture. They also gave this defining styling gel with coconut hibiscus flax seeds. I can't wait to try some of these products, even though I don't really wear my hair curly. I can give them to my niece or I can test them out on clients. Okay, this one's fun. This is from the Honey Play box and it's a fancy bullet. Very interesting. Let me open the box because she is cute. Ah, look at that. So adorable. Now, I didn't expect to get any feminine goodies at this uh, convention, but amazing. Let me say that there were so many black owned, minority owned, woman owned businesses at BeautyCon. I was just proud. The girls are getting to it and I love to see it. Um, there was also a Palmer's Cocoa Butter um, booth. They gave us some um, moisturizing oil. That's not fun stuff anyway. Everybody know about Palmer's Coco. Um, I met this lady, a mommy. She had a Itali, she had Italian leather bags and it was black owned as well. Beautiful. Just check her out. The name is a mommy. Cute. Real cute, real cute, real cute. Let's just keep going through this bag. More Palmer stuff. At the CEO of Made Gentle. That's the, this is an all natural, Hair care line. Her grandmother had uh, cancer, I believe, and her grandmother suffered from hair loss. And she made this organic oil in all her grandma's hair grew back. So she gave some samples. Really sweet. Check out her brand. I'm gonna try this hair oil when I get a chance. And NYX or is it NYX? I don't know. I would never know. NYX wasn't there, but there was a Walmart, uh, a whole, I think Walmart actually sponsored the event this year. 
So there was a Walmart uh, whole back section that was dedicated to Walmart and all the products that they were they were you know willing to give. Um, so I got this uh, NYX. It's called Glow Shots Ultimate. It's a liquid eyeshadow. I can't wait to try this. Cannot wait. Like it's super shimmery. Wow. Yeah, I think I like that. Evie, they're this program where where they test beauty products, something of that nature. I don't remember. She gave me an entire spiel, and she was a very sweet lady. I believe her name was Nichelle. If you're interested in like testing beauty products, check them out. Boots. I believe it was like they had this whole create your own little thing going on. So they just had a bunch of little things that you can grab and go. Um, Camille Rose. I got some products from Camille Rose. So this is a moisture milk. And then this one is a curl maker. Oh my gosh. So Black Radiance was actually there. I don't know if y'all know, but Black Radiance for the for the girls, you know, for the for the for the girls, the melanated girls. They have like the best finishing powder ever. And I can never find it in my color because y'all keep buying it. <laughs> I'm blame, but they literally have one of the best um, finishing powders for girls of color, women of color. And they had a booth there. I was, it was so awesome. It was so awesome meeting everybody. So I got some goodies from them. They didn't have my finishing powder, but they did have some loose, some translucent setting powder. Um, they got some lip glosses, lipsticks. I think I also got like an eyeliner from them. Um, and yeah, that's my first bag. Oh, this is actually a little charm that I got from that Walmart. Bag number two. Guys, check out Soapy Faith. So, Soapy Faith. So, I actually purchased something from this brand. Um, the lady was really sweet. The owner was her and her daughter. They was really, really, really sweet. Um, they had like soaps, body oils, and I was intrigued because the soaps were so stinking cute, okay? Oh, like I said, I was throwing, just throwing stuff in the bag. Here it goes. I got something else from Shea Moisture, and this is a um, skin, renew skin renewal. I don't know. You, you, you can see what it is. Yes, it's some soap, but it's from Shea Moisture. I also got this from there. I got this after I actually bought the soap from Soapy Love, but it doesn't matter. I don't mind supporting a black business. I don't know, it's a sage or something, but they said you could just like burn it and, you know, weave it around the room. Well, Shane Moisture really did it up, okay? I tell you, they, they, they really had the budget to really just go all out and say, you get one, you get one, you get one. Because when I say, there was a time where I was like, they not running out of stuff? No, they were not running out, honey. They came prepared. Okay, so this one, Soapy Faith. Soapy Faith. The packaging is cute. So I got this bar of soap. It smells so good. It smells so, so, so good. Um, It says, for godlike skin. And oh my goodness, is the flavor that I got in the soap. Tell me this soap is not cute. This is mad cute. So cute. Let me open it. It smells so good, guys. So good. Like, it's all of my favorite, favorite scents. Adorbs. Like, I just want that in my shower. Like, all the time. I want that in my shower. It's so cute. And then, um, so the flavor of Oh My Goodness is uh, vanilla, coconut, and brown sugar. Come on. That's like a black girl's dream. So they have these, like, exfoliating soap bags. I had to get one. So you would take your bar of soap, you put it in. You don't have to use their soap. You can use any soap, honestly. And then it has like a little drawstring on there. You just pull it tight. And honey, you go to town on your skin with it. Like you just, you get crazy. Like this is nice and it's way, 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 way cleaner than freaking the exfoliating scrubs. Honestly, I love the exfoliating scrubs. I love how they make your skin feel, but keeping it a buck, one, they get messy all over your tub. And then two, they always clog my tub up. So as much as I be wanting to use them, I be like, they clogging my tub, sexy smooth skin. You know, it's always an uphill battle with it. I like this and I like this and I can't wait to use it. And I can also put my Shea Moisture in there and go to town, you know, like I just love this. Real cute, real cute, real cute. Okay, let's go into another bag. Guys, 
another bag and guess what more shame moisture this one is the hydrating and repair whipped curl cream like when i tell you they, they was not running out of product like they came prepared let me just empty the the bag stop making a mess palmers they was giving out these bags they also weren't running out of the things but one their price point on things isn't half as expensive and their product is so tiny like Shea Moisture was giving out full size product honey let me check the expiration date yes yeah, valid is valid is valid is valid okay cool nomads um uh it was an all-inclusive swimwear brand i got this cute little water bottle she's cute can't wait to use her all-inclusive um swimwear brand so they had like all sizes like you know from like skinny to thick to thick thick to voluptuous to curvy you know so check out nomads they had some really cute stuff and it was giving high end it wasn't yeah it wasn't that but yeah check them out more palmers more palmers more palmers black radiance so this is a a blending pencil i've never heard of a blending pencil like what does that do i've never heard of a blending pencil so um yeah we're just gonna be using this if, if it's what color is it it's black so we're not gonna use this on our eyebrows but we, we're gonna find a use for it but i've never heard of a blending pencil per se but child was free I got this cute bag and I didn't look in it. Um, I can't remember what stall I got it from. Oh, look at her! This is cute! It's from the Walmart, the Walmart uh, booth. The Walmart booth was so fun. They had like these little stations with filters that you could put on and literally, y'all know how filters work. So you put on a filter and it'll give you a whole new face. And they had four of them and once you went through all four, you just decided um, which look you like the most and you literally got all the products to create that look. Obviously outside of complexion, but you got all the products to create that look. So that's what's in this bag. So I got a black liquid eyeliner um, and this is from AI94. Never heard of them, but we're going to try it. A NYX um, eye pencil. This is a NYX um, brow gel. And this is a NYX lipstick. Listen, NYX was, they was giving it up. And then we also got this palette, real cute, real cute. Guys, I'm, and, I got, and, and I got a pouch, like, hello, like, let's make sense. And this, I can't, I really can't wait to try her out. Can't wait. A Brack Radiance, I got some more stuff. So they gave me a t-shirt, Black Radiance, they're celebrating their 30 years. Another bag. <laughs> Guys, they were giving out the do Dossier, Dossier perfume and I missed it. I missed it. One of, one of the girls I came with, she got it. I tried to get it and God was just like, it ain't for you, honey. <laughs> What's this? Luna Magic. Um, This is a... I think it's a... What? Is it, Yeah, it's a lash base primer. Guys, it's pink. It's a pink lash base. It's freaking pink. Oh shit, like, how does this dry? What color does this dry to be? I'm scared to use this, but I'm gonna give it a try. It's called Luna Magic. Luna, Luna Magic. They put me on to some brands, cause slip and seal leave-in conditioner. I love this. The glare from my lights is hating. Real cute, but you get the point. It's Meow Leave-In Conditioner. I think I got two of these bags. This bag is just cute in itself, too. I actually do have two of these bags. I got more stuff. They had a, a cute press-on nail um, booth as well. Instant press-on nails. Real cute. I met this young lady her name was name of her um cosmetic line was mel rose isn't that so cute um and she gave us these she didn't have a booth but she was out there doing her thing and her makeup was slayed to the gods so check out mel rose and i can't wait to try her products but guys that's all honestly i got all this stuff like all these things that i got 
and I only spent less than ten dollars on just my soap but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if beautycon ever comes to your city I don't really know where beautycon goes I know that I think they have one in LA and I know that they have it in Vegas I could be wrong they haven't had it in years and it didn't <laughs> it didn't originate where I grew up so I don't know but if it's a beauty in a city just go like go like there's so many beautiful women to meet to network with and women and men honestly it's a beautiful place everyone's happy go there network have a good time they had a bar where you can get some drinks they had amazing people come and speak um where you could just get that inspiration that you need to you know do whatever you want and yeah, there's amazing beauty um, influencers. Lots of influencers were there, but that doesn't even matter. Like, there were a lot of beauty enthusiasts. And it was just a beautiful event, honestly. Everyone was just there supporting each other. Everyone looked beautiful. Everybody had amazing energy. I was just so thankful that I was able to experience BeautyCon finally after all these years. Yeah, so if you ever get a chance to go to BeautyCon, I, I definitely recommend go. Just go. Go, have a good time tickets were like $25 I think for one because I ended up getting both days but I'm not gonna be able to go to both days unfortunately but um it's definitely a good time like DJs rocking they got like little food and snacks to eat and it, it's just a, it's just a cool event for beauty, beauty lovers you know what I'm saying like growing up I was only going to like car conventions like now they have conventions that I just things that we as women are into so I definitely recommend going and plus for a $25 ticket look at all the stuff that I got that's worth it and not only that just the connections and all the beautiful people that I got to meet that is it goodies thank you so much for watching um check out some of these brands that I mentioned I'm gonna put them all in the description box so check them out because a lot of these beautiful women like they're there they're hustling and your help can only make them greater. Thank you, goodies, so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Mwah.